Hi everybody, it's Shannon Wilkie, owner of Shine Advocacy Group. And today I'm really excited to talk to Amy Gingrich. Hi Amy. Hi. I've known Amy for a really long time, probably 15 years. Um, and she is coming today to talk to us. She's part of the Shine Advocacy Group and she wants to tell us a little bit about transition consulting and executive function consulting. And we know that's a mouthful, so we wanted to tell you a little bit about it and about her services here at Shine. So let's start, Amy, just tell us about your background. Okay, so I have been in education for quite some time. I started out um, in education, in and out of the schools, general education, as well as special ed um, resource, resources for students, probably about eight, in and out eight years. And then uh, 16, almost 17 years ago now, um, I started working at University of Phoenix in the Disability Services Office. And I have my master's in education. Um, I have enjoyed, even though I'm in the same position for 16 years, I have enjoyed just so many different changes and facets within the Disability Services Office and the things we're able to do now for students that we weren't before. Um, so I just love helping the students figure out that best fit for them to move in um, and figure out how it's going to work in their education. And you're really good at it. So that's how, um, that's how we met. So do you want to tell or do you want me to tell how, how we met and we worked together for 15 years, I guess. Wow. <laughs> I know. Well, we met um, through work. I actually was working in Costa Mesa and Shannon was working at the online campus and um, we were co-workers and she would assist me colleagues i'd have questions and then um one day i was lucky enough that she got to become my manager and then we worked together for years from then on and i miss great. that i really do I so when i left the university and started shine advocacy group i would have a lot of clients who have students who are in high school getting ready for college and that was helpful my background was helpful to encourage them you know, different colleges, different types of job opportunities, what's their journey. And I started um, doing a little bit of transition coaching, but it wasn't my area of expertise. Um, there's a part of an IEP called a transition plan, which I think is a great part of the IEP. It helps any student at 16 on up, the school needs to have a transition plan. But then these kids were coming to me and they're saying, what now? Like, we need a coach, we need, do we go to a psychologist? And um, Amy came to mind because she was and still is amazing working with students who are kind of rising up what's their next steps um, and so you came to mind and we loved working together so much that we we started again um, she does still work at the university so this is her um, you know side job the consulting and so tell us a little bit about transition consulting and what it is okay so um Yes, that is one of my passions because sometimes students finding their, they're not finding that right fit. And if you're not in that right fit, that's going to work for you, whether you have a learning disability or any type of medical disability, um, you're not, it, the success rate is just not as high. And so I would get really frustrated if, if I found students in that situation. So that's kind of where my passion came into it. And when Shannon was my manager, we would talk about it. So I'm glad you thought of me. Um, so transition coaching, what I would do is we would look into various colleges, look into the options, if college is what you're looking for. Um, maybe if a student is graduating high school and school is not their thing, then let's look into a trade school. Um, I would help them decide what is gonna be that good fit for them so that they can be successful and feel good about that. Yeah, the next steps. And it really has a big overlap. So what you're doing now is, you know, helping at when they're at the college. But I know for the clients that you've had, it's not only students who are going to college, it's just what next steps, because their IEP or 504 or high school is so scripted and the steps are laid out for them. And then boom, here we go. Now you're an adult and now you have little to no guidance. What are your next steps? And that 
process, that thought process is overwhelming. Um, I remember that overwhelmed feeling. And so if a student has ADHD or a learning disability on top of it, I love how you've helped some of our clients choose, you know, you know the different colleges from working in the field for so many years, you know which ones have different programs that are better, you can offer advisement in that. And then I really like the overlap of executive function coaching. So everyone is probably tired of hearing Shannon talk about executive function, <laughs> because it, because I'm, I'm so enthralled with it. But basically, it's the, fr the prefrontal cortex of our brains is developed with our time management, task initiation, organization. And for some students, disability or not, those may be asynchronous in their development. So some kids, I think I was probably there when I was 18, weren't super organized or didn't know how to start their day. So from you telling me about your work and from knowing about executive function coaching, there's an overlap. So you also offer that, correct? Yes, exactly. So, um, and even in the transition, I, I was going to say, I had one student where he was just looking to, um, to pass the GED. And just that was overwhelming to what do I do? Where do I start? And how do I get accommodations to take it? So assisting that student was great. And then I have another student that I worked with. And really, um, she, she's not a student right now. She was looking into options and just trying to find that focus. You know, there's a goal that she had to move and she wanted to move states. And so we kind of just started from the beginning of where is going to be the best place to start because it's such a big picture. Let's look at the baby steps to get you to that picture and set that goals. And that's that's the transition uh, or the executive functioning side of it because you can get, and myself included, so overwhelmed with the, the big picture of it all. But it's kind of like that elephant story, you know, taking the elephant one bite at a time. But yeah, um, just doing those baby steps and finding the tools that are going to help you do those baby steps and right. get there. So I have a student yesterday I actually was just talking with that um, – she was frustrated with some of the English assignments that she had in the research and, and she's like, all the things I put in there, I'm not, I'm not finding it correctly and it's frustrating me. And I said, okay, well, let's back up. This is real life. That's going to happen. Yeah. So let's figure out how can we change that behavior of your frustration and move it to something that you're going to find success with. And um, we were able to get through that. So that's yeah. kind of, a I want to work with you. <laughs> I think everyone would benefit from a coach. I mean, basically, and this is so cool. This is so 360 how life works out because you and I, like if anyone from our old team is watching this, they're like, oh, those goal girls, like oh, we love goals, right? So now you're, you're taking the end result of the goal you want and you're helping the client or student work towards that with small steps, breaking things down in a nutshell, whatever the goal is. So for your sessions, from what you've told me and and from my experience you find the end result and then just kind of step it out work backwards and and find the steps they should take right exactly find those steps that are, are going to work for them to have that success along the way because if awesome. you're not feeling the success from those steps then you get frustrated and you just quit right so and we get paralyzed with no action. Mm -hmm. And so that's a hard enough age with brain development. And then for us to give, to be honest, in traditional education, there's very little help with anything, time management, organization, agendas, and in goals, goal setting, breaking tasks down. It's, it's really a field of need right now, in my opinion. And so for us to have a child who maybe delayed in that, it's a lagging skill anyhow, and then to say, the world is your oyster, go figure out <laughs> go what school it. you're going to go to, which career you're going to have, you know, that's, that's a lot, and there's more pressure now than when we were growing up, I mean, people didn't start asking me what I was going to do until I was a senior, now you're asking eighth and ninth graders what they're going to do, and I can't imagine that pressure, so to have someone help with the transition is priceless. Uh, it really helps our, our Shine Advocacy Group a lot. We're so happy to have you, Amy. And if someone wants to reach out and work with Amy, um, we're gonna post your contact information below. Perfect. And if you have questions, 
Yeah, if you have questions, um, let us know as well. So Amy is l living the life on the beach in California. So she <laughs> works nationally by Zoom um, or whatever platform you prefer and um, or possibly in person if you live near Huntington Beach. <laughs> Right. I wish exactly. I did. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks so much for talking to us today, Amy. This was great. Thank you. It's good to thanks. see you. Bye.